You know, in the beginning, I had no real template for what it looks like to be a wife because my mom got a divorce. So, you know, and all I ever saw was toxicity anyway. There really wasn't a great template there. I had to rewire my thinking. I had to divorce myself from myself in order for me to take on a new mindset that would allow me to practice things in a very different way. If I had to use the templates that I was given as the role model for what I was doing, I probably wouldn't be married today. Hey everyone, my name is Danielle Pettiford and you're watching the Suitable Help Her podcast where we help wives rediscover their purpose and passion in marriage, business, and life. And you know what? I had an epiphany this week. I had a whole epiphany and I'm going to share it with y'all because I just believe in full transparency and I'm hoping that somebody out here is on team, on team marriage, on team wife. My epiphany was that if you ask a hundred women what wife means to them, you're going to get a hundred different answers. And it just dawned on me as I've been able to go out in the streets and talk to couples and just random people about what they think about being a wife and what that means to them. And of course, in my community and all of that. And I have had so many different answers. So I had an opportunity to go out on the street and hear what the streets had to say about what it looks like to be a wife. And I want you to hear some of what I heard. Yeah. When you think about a wife, what icons come to mind for you? Oh, this is, this is a Princess good... Diane. Oh. Yeah, we go high level. Feminine, strong, yes. Um, intelligent and good hearted. Good hearted. Okay. Yeah. What about you? What, when you think of a wife, what do you think your role is? Um, oh, look how he turned to you to get that information. <laughs> he was ready. Well, I, I just really think of like my mom when I think about what a wife is um, and how she like takes care of my dad and looks out for him and having each other's back, I think is the most important thing and making sure, you know, he's fed. I, you know, I do believe okay. a little bit in like the traditional kind okay. of house you know, roles still, the gender roles, but I also, my my mom was also like in charge of like my dad's finances. And even though he made the money, she still, you know, saw the money in the account. So it was very much a very open, transparent relationship. And that's something that I want in my um, partnership. What icons come to mind for you when you think about your amazing wife of how many years? Good job, 16. 16 years. Hearts and kisses. Hugs and kisses. What else? Uh, Come on now. Six hearts years. and kisses. Hearts. hearts. Uh huh. Hugs. Yes. Mm. Right? <laughs> Keep it coming, baby. Keep it coming. <laughs> Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Loving. Loving. Touching. Uh huh. Hugging. Yes. All of that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're a very loving woman, obviously. Apparently. Oh, yes, Apparently. <laughs> so let me ask you, because we, you know, we find that husbands and wives tend to see our roles very differently, right? So how would you describe your role as a wife? I'm a partner. I'm not a wife. Okay. Uh, and I think that is what makes it so rad, you know, is we do what we do. He's better at some things than I am. I'm better at some things than he is. Most things. Right. Yeah. Computer. <laughs> Just a computer. <laughs> What are your expectations? What do you think it means to have a wife by your side? Uh, I mean, I want somebody to love me for me. And I feel like having a wife by your side is a, a, is a, a bonus. It helps you, you know, stay grounded. You know, it's the yin to your yang. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a family. My mom and dad was married for 41 years. Same kids. So I had a perfect example. Yes. But in my dating life, I've seen a lot of women, especially African American women, that has a lot of demands. Okay. That kind of can push a man away. What do you think the role of a wife is in a marriage? Uh, I mean, just to love her husband, her family unconditionally, and to, you know, be a, be herself, and and, and to try to be uh, more on the modest side and and more. Uh, Cover up? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just saying, like, you know, you know, have love in your heart. You know, what I'm saying, love for your children, and having God in your life. So you, you have an idea to get married someday? Personally, I got a girl. Uh, we best friends. So I met her in college. I'm 23. Okay. I met her in college. So like, I feel like 
when you with your best friend for life, that's like the best thing in the world. So, so when you think about marriage, what comes to mind? What are you expecting out of marriage from your wife? Um, reciprocation, um, and everything. So like care, um, uh, paying attention to details, um, patience, um, and trying to make it fun. Do you think there's a difference between being married and then being a wife or having a wife? Um, I think a wife in its like support or the every sense of the word is supposed to go along with being married like a lot of people today i feel like are afraid of commitment so a lot of relationships they'd be like oh that's wifey just because they've been together for like three four years but at the end of the day if you don't if y'all don't get a ring on it you know what i'm saying y'all don't have a ceremony like like, that's not really your wife for real. Come like, on, talk about it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Y'all got to sign the papers. Y'all got to have a, a marriage. Because you, when you marry someone, you marrying their family. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not just by yourself. So, like, I really try to, like, spend time. Like, my, my girl going out of town, I'm going to spend time with her mom, her brother. Like, like you know what I'm saying? It's a joining of two cultures, it's two families, right two here. everything. So. But he caught already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> like, yeah. So, she, so she's my, uh, my, my wife-to-be, but she's not my wife yet. I think that marriage is all about finding the right person. So I feel like I am very interested in marriage and that a lot of my friends are and people that I know are, but I feel like it's all about like waiting for the right person and finding the right person. And that's since that's such a lifelong commitment that you want to make sure you're making the right decision with. I agree with her. Like, I feel like a lot of people are moving more towards like, like just like hookups and stuff. And I don't know, personally, I like to have like one person to just like experience things with. I think that's so much more valuable, but um, it's really sad because like social media has made it so that like people like cheat on each other easily and like talk to other people so much more. So, mm. yeah. So you do desire to get married. It's yes. just harder to figure out how that's yeah. going to even happen. Right. Yeah. It's okay. just really it's like different scary in this to think about. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Scary to think about. Thank you guys so that's much. Perfect. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, am I about to start a fight? It, are, like, are people gonna come for me, try to tar and feather me because I believe in biblical marriage? Because I believe that when marriage was created, it was created perfectly and that God actually had a template and a plan and a vision for his couple to actually subdue, which is to take over and dominate the earth? Is it me? I didn't think it was so confusing. I didn't think that marriage and our roles as a wife was something that was up for discussion or opinion. And so I sat with that and I was just like, oh my gosh, there are gonna be some people that are like, nope, not interested. And I know there are going to be some people that are with me and all the way for it. But it just dawned on me that there are countless templates out there. And I don't know where all the templates came from. You know, maybe they came from what we've seen growing up. Uh, a lot of people just make up templates, right? Um, you know, we just decide what it is that we want to do these days. And so I just noticed that there's lacking in any kind of consistency. And... I want to bring clarity for this perspective and for those of us who are out here who want to do it right, who want to have a successful marriage, who want to be the wife that you hear about when you hear about the Proverbs 31 woman who was a total and complete boss. I want to talk to y'all. You guys are my people. You are the wives that I'm here to speak to. And I hope you'll stick with me because I think it's going to be a rough journey. I think there's going to be some people that aren't going to like what I have to say. But everything that I'm going to say is going to be backed by the word. And so it ain't really me saying it. I'm just repeating what's already been said. I really, I, you know, when I sat with this, I thought to myself, oh, my gosh, like, do I really want to do this podcast? Do I want to talk about this? Because I can't do anything but tell the truth. I can't make it up myself. I can't. I know some people can, but I can't. And so I'm going to have to just bring it to you how it was brought to me and how it was brought to all of us. And just re be a reminder that there is already a template that we can follow. And I will tell you, I was not, you know, the poster child for marriage. OK, I had to find this thing out and figure it out along the way. And my hope is that I can provide a lot of shortcuts OK, I want to give you all the cheat codes 
to doing this wife thing right as soon as you can possibly do it so that you can begin to see things manifest in your marriage that you cannot believe. You wouldn't be able to believe it, especially sitting in certain positions that some of us are in where we're looking at our marriage and we're looking at our husband and we're like, what the whole heck is going on up in here, up in here. And we've lost hope sometimes and we just can't see the forest through the trees. We've been blinded by our circumstances. But I'm telling you that when you step into a proper place and do the things or show up the way you're supposed to show up, major transition can take place. Let's learn how to show up and do this thing right and watch the power manifest in your marriage. I am excited about it. I've seen it myself. You know, in the beginning, I had no real template for what it looks like to be a wife because my mom got a divorce. So, you know, and all I ever saw was toxicity anyway in, in, in my parents' relationship. And so there really wasn't a great template there. I had to rewire my thinking. I had to divorce myself from myself in order for me to take on a new mindset that would allow me to practice things in a very different way. If I had to use the templates that I was given as the role model for what I was doing, I probably wouldn't be married today. Because truth be told, I was groomed and raised to be very independent, okay? on my own and independent. So I really never came into a marriage thinking that I needed my husband for anything. I came into this relationship because I wanted to get married. It was, he, I was in love with him. And, you know, I had this idea, we can, we're gonna do things together. We're gonna be in great partnership. But I really never had this concept of what it meant to actually be a wife. This was something that I had to learn. So I want to break down something to you that was a big epiphany. And thank you to everybody that took the time out on the belt line, stopped and talked to me and gave amazing insight. But I will tell you, all of the amazing insight that I gained, it, it really gave me an epiphany. And that is that there is a huge difference between being married and being a wife. Do you wanna know what those differences are? Cool, I'm gonna break it down for you, okay? I wanna walk down the aisle, I wanna put on that, that wedding dress, I need you to put a ring on it because I need to get married, we need to get married. You don't hear, I wanna be your wife. I wanna be wifed, <laughs> right? How often do you hear that? Because there's a big difference and I think that um, we have not been given the wife mindset, not in 2024. We have been given a very independent mindset and being a wife is an interdependent role, okay? Which does put some responsibility on the husband as well, but we're here to talk about the wife, right? But it is a interdependent role, not an independent role. So let me break down what it means to be married. A married woman is someone who is legally married with a focus on the logistical and societal aspects of being in a marriage. Her identity may encompass a balance of personal independence, career, and diverse roles beyond the marital relationship, right? The married woman, she's still married now. She's still got a ring and she looks the look and she has, she's, she's, the married woman, now she, she, she looks the part, okay? She's got the ring and all the things, but her focus is outward. It's not towards her husband. Her focus is on the aspects of the logistical and societal uh, ideals related to marriage. So that sounds like the benefits of marriage. We know that there are benefits. You get tax cuts and all of that. She's also focused on her career. That's her main focus, right? And then of course, other things that are outside of the marriage. So that could be anything. She's just focused on those things. That's her main focus. That could be her hobbies and other things that she's into. Now, let me talk about the wife. And I think this is big for us to understand because if you're a wife, you're also married. So that means you're also focused on the married aspects of being married and being a wife. So let me tell you what that's about. 
A wife is someone who embraces the relational and emotional roles within a marriage, focusing on partnership, support, and companionship. Her identity often centers on nurturing the marital relationship and building a strong family unit. Okay, so this is this is this is where we're going to sit on this show. This is how we're going to wrap this show up. Okay, because you can be married and not be a wife. That wife, her focus is turned towards her husband. She's there to support him. She is in partnership with him and she is his companion. And that is her focus. The other things fall behind that. And trust me when I say, there are the other things. When you think about this role as a wife, it's just one role of many things that any woman does and is. And that's why I think it's so important for us to understand what we're talking about when we say that we wanna get married. Are you actually trying to build something with someone? And there is a difference. And I think what we miss is we don't get into these conversations before we get married. We don't understand that as women, we are going to play so many roles and being a wife is just one of them that you're going to have to balance. And that has got to be your primary focus. Why? Because God said so, because you are there to be the suitable helper because he needs you in order for him to fulfill his purpose in life. If there is a vision inside that man that has not been nurtured yet, it's most likely because he has not found his suitable helper. God shows us countless times how he does things. Your husband has a vision, but he doesn't have a womb. He has no place to put the vision so that he can birth it. That would be you, wife. And this is a role that we must take on, but it doesn't circumvent the fact that you have so many other roles. You are also a married woman who has other obligations and other goals and other aspirations. You are also very interested in career and hobbies and all the other things, but your focus, your focus is on being a wife. That's ground zero. That's where we begin. That's where we build from. I know that's a hard pill to swallow for some. And I sure hope I got an amen corner somewhere because I know there's going to be some women out there like, ma'am, I don't think so. Well, the Bible thinks so. When he broke it down in the very beginning, he talked about it is not good for man to be alone. And I'm going to make him a suitable helper. And she is going to be the Ezra Konegdu. And that was a representation of himself and how he has shown up for so many to save, to protect, to defend. And he used that same term to refer to this suitable helper that he was going to provide to his man here on earth so that together they could partner up and they could subdue the earth and they could dominate See, we want to dominate. You hear people talk about power couple, power couple, power couple. Yeah, you want to be a power couple, but you don't want to do what it takes to become the power couple. See, in order for you to be elevated, you must first lower yourself. You need to humble yourself and get down on your knees so that God can elevate you. We're truly working too hard, folks. We're working too hard to take things into our own hands and do it our own way when God already created a formula. And all we have to do is learn it, understand it, and utilize it. So a wife is somebody who is focused on the relationship aspect of her husband. She is interdependent with him, right? And as a wife, you know all the nurturing that goes into supporting our husbands, how we support when they're up and when they're down, you hear women say all the time, I was ride or die. I was ride or die. That meant that you were standing by him through the ups and the downs. It didn't matter because you were his wife and you were there to give him wisdom, to speak life into him, to do all those things. So number one, a wife is relationally focused. And then number two, a wife is supportive. Now we hear husbands and men in general say all the time, I just needed her to support me. I needed her support. Well, that looks very different depending on the man that you're with, right? But whatever your man needs for support, 
That is your role to figure out how to do that, right? Does that mean speaking life to him? Does that mean that he needs um, your support? Maybe you're a great, maybe you're good with finances. Maybe you're great in business and he needs your business mind to support him in expanding his vision, whatever that means. See, in God's plan, when all things are aligned, you are suitably matched. That means that the husband that you have is missing what you have to offer and vice versa in many cases, right? So what you have, what you don't have, I got it. I got you, boo. And it's biblical. As we know, God put Adam to sleep and took from him a rib. And with that rib, shaped and fashioned Eve, his wife. And so when you are suitably matched, you are a wife that has what your husband is missing. And so you are designed to support him. You are his support. Number three, a wife is family oriented. Her identity is very much wrapped up in nurturing a strong family unit. And even though our husbands are biblically commanded to be a spiritual covering over us, to pray for us and all those things, oftentimes it's the wise wife that is putting little seeds in our husband's ear and, and encouraging them and reminding them, speak life, say this, do that, because she is there to nurture the family, to shape the family. If you observe what's going on in the family with the children, you can see when there's a disconnect between the children and the father. You're very aware of that. And as a suitable helper, you are doing things like praying and using wisdom to bring your family together as a strong unit. And then finally, a wife is fully engaged and committed. She is committed to this marriage. She is committed to this relationship. She is committed to this husband and seeing the highest and best and good come out of it and for him. She is an encourager. She is a champion for her husband and she wants to see him win. Now, tell me a man on this planet that doesn't want a woman like that by his side. If you want a woman like that by your side, you need to find a suitable helper. <laughs> That's a wife. So to all my wives out there, I just want you to know you can step into an entirely different authority and it has been given to you by God. And I want to show you how to do it. So I hope that you will continue to follow and listen. If you are living in that space where you're just married, right? I mean, you're just going half on bills. You're focused on your career. It's you, yourself and you. And you're thinking, you know what? This has not been working for me. Let me learn how to step into my role that was appropriately given to me and understand how am I supposed to do this and see what will come out of it. I want you to continue to listen to these episodes. With that, I am complete and I will see you on the next episode. Hey, you made it to the end. If you made it to the end and you like what you heard, you're definitely going to like part two. So make sure to tune in for next week's episode where I'm going to jump into the scripture and actually break down how we as wives are supposed to operate. All right. I can't wait to see you there.